It's important that universities also make a, a declared statement that they will not collaborate with ICE in order to ensure the safety on a docu of undocumented students. El pueblo, unido, jamás será vencido. El pueblo, uh, these ordinances unido. that have been passed at the city level for police officers to not collaborate with ICE, those ordinances are only as good as they are enforceable. Um, so even in North Hampton, where ordinances have been passed, there have been cases of undocumented people being detained for minor traffic stop violations. So students are in a specific position to demand that their, administ uh, that their university administrators not collaborate with ICE. Y no no vamos. Aquí estamos. Y no no vamos. If we're going to be successful in fighting against Trumpism and all its manifestations, um, meaning its attacks on workers, its xenophobia, its racism, its attacks on women, on LGBT people, we need to build a multiracial working class coalition that can uh, respond to racism with solidarity because one of the ways that the elite in this country is trying to divide workers is through racism and, and xenophobia. Why responding to racism is absolutely central to building a labor movement is that undocumented workers and immigrants are facing increased forms of retaliation. Their bosses are paying attention to changes in the, um, in the political climate, and they're using these fears, uh, these threats of deportation, to stop workers from organizing. So this is why labor organizing with people of color is at the intersection of different types of oppression, state violence, immigration, imperialism, racism. Um, and the way that we're going to be able to defeat those things is by building a powerful working class coalition where different oppressed sectors can come together and unify their demands. Power to the people! No one is illegal! Power to the people!